Chuck Schumer just got slammed with awful news about 2020. Chuck Schumer is desperate to retake the Senate in 2020. Without control of the Senate, President Trump can continue to appoint Supreme Court justices without the support of a single Democrat in Congress. And with two Supreme Court appointees and hundreds of lower court judges already confirmed, Democrats are running out of time to stop President Trump from cementing his presidential legacy for decades to come. The stakes are high on both sides, and Schumer knows it, too. That's why he spent the better part of the year working to plan how Democrats can retake the Senate in 2020. But Schumer has a big problem on his hands. The Democratic plan to retake the Senate in 2020 looks a lot like the same one Nancy Pelosi used to retake control of the House of Representatives in 2018. But unfortunately for Schumer, the Senate map in 2020 looks nothing like the sort of map Democrats used to flip the enough House seats to make Pelosi speaker last year. Democrats relied primarily on suburban and urban districts that shifted strongly against Trump in 2016 to build a majority in the House of Representatives in last year's elections. And in the upcoming 2020 Senate elections, there simply aren't enough states that resemble the sort of districts that propelled Pelosi to victory. This means that Schumer's plan to retake control of the Senate could go horribly wrong. The key swing states that Democrats are likely to target next year will be Colorado, Iowa, North Carolina, and Arizona. But none of these states have geographic or demographic trends that look like the key swing districts that Democrats flipped in 2018, aside from Colorado and possibly Arizona. Republicans scoff at the Democratic optimism. They argue Democrats' early recruiting misses force them to back little-known candidates who will face competitive primaries that drain resources and damage their eventual nominees, reports Politico. Democrats did miss on several high-profile recruits, including Abrams in Georgia and a trio of presidential candidates in Texas, like O'Rourke, Colorado, John Hickenlooper, and Montana Bullock. But they largely moved on from those potential candidates early in the cycle, as Politico. Meanwhile, Democrats also have to defend vulnerable incumbents in places like Alabama, which seem poised to vote for Trump's re-election in a landslide. If that happens it's very likely Republicans will retake Alabama's Senate seat. They're struggling for direction and a message, said National Republican Senatorial Committee Chairman Todd Young, who serves as a Republican senator from Indiana. The math simply isn't working out for Schumer. And with Democrats failing to recruit top-tier candidates in key races they have to win if they hope to retake control of the U.S. Senate next year, their prospects of blocking President Trump's agenda in the Senate seems to be fading fast. Yet their latest recruiting strategy is as much out of necessity as by design. The party has been spurned by a number of coveted, would-be candidates as it seeks to dislodge a Republican Senate that stymied House Democrats' legislative agenda and installed a raft of Trump's judicial picks, concludes Politico. We will keep you up to date with any new developments in this ongoing story. This is Gary with Breaking News 365.